So we're just starting on the jobs today to get the boat back in the water. What are we up to? Oh, we're about to start pulling off the prop and uh, we want to get the shaft out. Last one out. So we're hoping that once this is off that we can actually get the shaft past the rudder. Otherwise we'll be uh, having to remove the rudder as well, which we really don't want to do. So we've got ourselves a little bearing puller, I think it is. But uh, the idea is that you kind of get it in there and somehow try and press the prop off the shaft. That was easy. <laughs> Did it come? Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so we're, because uh, we're pulling out the shaft, we're going to change the cutlass bearing as well because there's a little bit of movement. We've been told that that's probably too much, so uh, we haven't really done that before either. So uh, we'll see how that goes. What's next? Oh, pulling up everything so we can get access to the back of the engine. We're about to just try and pull off the, uh, the prop shaft. It's a bit of a tight spot, but we've undone all the bolts um, and we need to separate the coupling so we can uh, try and start moving the engine around to realign it. A little bit stuck. Oh, there we go. I'm out. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> it's a very tight fit. So we finally got to the point where we can pull up the shaft. Uh, so we're just going to try to pull up the cutlass bearing now. How's it going? Yeah, I think it's starting to come out slowly. Hopefully she should slide past the rudder. Oh, it's close. Oh. She's out. <laughs> so we've uh, done a little bit of damage to the shaft coupling, trying to pull it off of uh, a drive shaft. I don't know if you can see. It's been through war. It's had a little bit of uh, scratches and marks pretty much from the Stilsons. So we've uh, come down to see someone at a machining shop, a little boat yard, that might be able to put it on a mill and, and clean it up a little bit so it's not such a mess. We have four new engine mounts, a whole set. The ones we've got now are completely broken, they're all cracked and separated. So we've got four new ones. Oh, they look a little bit better. Looks like they're the same, same mounts and they should fit in, in the old bolt holes uh, pretty well. The uh, trick will be to to try and lift the engine up enough in order to get them in there. Oh, stoked. Got one of the broken ones out. It's been a bit of a struggle trying to get the bolts and reach into all the little tight spots, but that's the broken one. It's all rusty and 
messed up. Uh, so we've changed, finished changing all the engine mounts. I'm pretty happy with the result. Um, the old ones, I could see where the problem was in the vibration. I think if we left these in any longer, we're going to have some massive problems. So yeah, pretty stoked. We're about ready to put the shaft back in now. We've uh, taken it to someone to make sure that it's true and doesn't have any bend and it's all good. Some new cutlass. Heaps better. So we've got our um, our prop shaft back inside the stern tube now. We have to heat up the uh, coupling here, slide it on, and uh, before that we have to actually fit our new stern tube and uh, we're going to use our old cutlass just as packing to hold the, uh, the shaft in the center of the tube while we do the alignment of the engine. Shiny. What are you doing there, mate? I don't know. I'm <laughs> putting on the, the cap of the propeller. Do you know what that is? Yeah, it's to prevent, you know, when you're going along, so no little fish and stuff get into the, <laughs> <laughs> the teeth and get <laughs> grinded up. So it's the fish, it's for the fish? Yeah. It's to protect them. So not to no, keep the propeller joking. on? It's to keep, no, yeah, it's... I'm pretty it's sure it's to keep the propeller on. No, because the propeller is connected with these screws here. And this is so you can put the anode on too. Yeah, you, know, you seem you to know, know what nothing. you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> That's just the anode to go on the prop. Yeah. Yeah. Where is it going to go? It's going to go in the middle. Here. Yeah. Does it fit on? Yeah. So what's the anode for? <laughs> it's for st to stop corrosion getting on the propeller, so it attack gets on the anode instead. Yeah. Correct. Hello. How's it look? It's a little bit swampy, but still gonna be good to get back in the water. 
excited to get in. Can't wait. And we are off. 